What's happening guys, it's Abhinav from Phonebunch and this is a gaming review of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. We are also going to take a look at the game launcher and game tools. Stay tuned. Now with the S7 and S7 Edge, Samsung has added game tools and a game launcher which automatically adds all your games to a single folder which we'll talk about in a bit more detail later on. Now the starting temperatures are at about 35 degrees and the first game we are playing is Riptide GP2. And right off the bat you can see that the gameplay is very smooth. The viewing angles of this display are quite wide as well. And that's expected, we are talking about a flagship smartphone. Now this is Subway Surfers. Again it is a fast paced game. But yes, it is a basic game as well. Colors really seem to pop on this display. And again, this is a Super AMOLED panel. Now let's push the phone further, we are going to now play Asphalt 8. And we are playing this game in high settings. We will keep checking temperatures every few minutes. So that we can see whether the phone heats up or not. Now the S7 Edge comes with that curved display which you see there. It really makes gameplay quite immersive. And if we check temperatures, we have been playing games for 7 odd minutes now and it's at about 36, 37 odd degrees. So this one is literally not heating up. Now I just wanted to show you the game tools or how they can be useful. So how many times does this happen? You accidentally press the back key, the home key or the multitasking key. So you can actually go ahead and disable these keys with the game tools. Moreover, you can also disable all your notifications. You can minimize the game and it works perfectly. You can see the buttons are now disabled. So it's really intuitive. Moreover, you can even minimize your game and carry on. Let's say you were chatting on WhatsApp, Facebook, whatever. And you can see that the buttons now work. It's only in the game that they don't work. So you can see how seamless it is. You don't have to do anything. As soon as you get into a game, your back and recent apps key would be disabled. And that's just about it. And you can even record a video or take screenshots. And you can see this is the video that we recorded. Now yes, the bitrate is not that high. There is a bit of artifacting. But yes, you can record live video of your gameplay to post to your YouTube channel, show it off to your friends, whatever you want to. Just master those skills so that you can see later on what you were doing wrong. So that all comes in built. So game tools really seem to be something intuitive. I really like the feature that you are not bothered with notifications and that the back and recent apps key are disabled while playing games. Two of my pet peeves which really get solved here. Now this is Mortal Kombat X and right here too you can see that the gameplay is very smooth. So this is what we have seen till now. In all the games that we have tried we have superb frame rates, excellent gameplay and moreover the frame rate is consistent. So you don't see any lag or frame drop. Let's move further, we are now playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. Again, it is a very fast paced game. The touch response from this display is really great. And due to that curved panel, it seems as if there are no bezels on the display. So it's really immersive. And moreover, this is a quad HD panel. So everything looks superbly sharp. So now we are playing Leo's Fortune. Again, this is a spectacular game to look at. You can see the visuals. Now colors look really spectacular on this display. Moreover, it has great touch response. Now word about the speaker here. Yes, due to waterproofing this smartphone, the speaker has become a bit thinner, but it's still quite loud and very clear. It doesn't rattle at full volume. And you can see right here, even after playing games for more than 15 odd minutes, we are still at just 37 degrees. So yes, the Galaxy S7 Edge with its liquid vapor cooling doesn't heat up even a little bit. Now we are playing Dead Trigger 2. This is again in high performance mode. And right off the bat, you can see brilliantly smooth gameplay. No matter if I pan around, move around, you don't see any lag or jitter. No matter how many elements are introduced into the frame as well. 
With 4 gigs of RAM, you have a lot of leeway in multitasking. Now till now, I haven't killed even a single game. All of them are in memory. Now there's one more cool feature with game tools. You can actually save power, that is your battery life, by reducing the resolution of the game and capping the frame rate at 30 FPS. So if you are running low on juice and still want to play games, you can actually use this feature. Now let's move on to another game. This is GTA San Andreas. And you can see, again, smooth gameplay. We are playing this game in high visual quality. Until now, I really haven't felt that this phone is getting hot at all. So it's not just the temperatures that we have seen. This phone doesn't feel hot at all while playing games for a long period of time. Now folks, let's move to another game. This is Nova 3. Now Nova 3 is known to lag even on some of the higher end smartphones, even flagship smartphones for that matter. And you can see right here, we have absolutely smooth gameplay. Now this is by far the smoothest I have seen Nova 3 run on any device. While moving across, panning around, there is literally no lag whatsoever. Now yes, given that this is a flagship smartphone, you do expect superb gameplay here. And that is what you get with the Galaxy S7 Edge. And just to tell you the time, we have been playing games continuously for more than 25 minutes now. And the phone still performs brilliantly. There is no capping of frame rate. We are getting absolutely consistent frame rates throughout. And the gameplay is really immersive here. And moreover, whatever game you throw at this phone, it performs brilliantly. So you wouldn't have to think whether my phone can play this game or that game. This is literally the ultimate mobile gaming smartphone right now. And with support for Vulkan API, which mobile game manufacturers are going to use in the very near future, the gameplay is going to become far more immersive. So you'll get console grade gaming and even to an extent PC level gaming on your smartphone. Well folks, that was a gaming review of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It literally is the ultimate mobile gaming smartphone right now. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, let us in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.